You're on board KCAA's Inland Talk Express. KCAA, Loma Linda, 1050 AM, the station that needs no listener behind. Hello and welcome to Let's Go Shopping with Bev. This show brought to you by Starflight Entertainment. Music by Dr. Bombay and the Blue Machine Band. Song title, Living in Paradise. Now here's Bev. Well, happy Friday to everybody. Yes, it's Friday. Friday, hey, hey, Friday. Hey. Friday, Friday, Friday. Hey, yes. TGIF. That's right. And we're all happy. Why? Because it's Friday. 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 <laughs> and uh, as you can see, we got a nice, happy, full house today. And Joe is our board op today. Hi, Joe. Hello. Thank hello. you, Joe. And today we, us three ladies, are going to embarrass Joe. Today is his <laughs> birthday. Hey, hey, hey. Happy birthday, birthday to you on happy, Friday. Yeah. All right, yeah. one, two, three. You ready? Happy, happy birthday, birthday, to you. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Joe. Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe, 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 Joe. Joe. Hey, like that, that. we did that pretty yeah. good, huh? That was pretty good. good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And our guest today, I'm really excited that these ladies are came back. I enjoy talking to them. Very intelligent people. And if you happen to read my post this morning, read is the correct saying on this, we have Miss Jackie with us from the TRT Boot Camp. Yay, Yay. Jackie! Yeah, and guess what? We're talking about boot camp again. She will explain (laughs) all this good stuff. And Jackie, yes, I still have my combat boots, and I still have my green. So when we're ready, you let me know. When you take that class, you bring those boots. They're not required. <laughs> oh, I'll have to bring them just just because, you, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. And the second guest, I say her name in Jewish, but she is not Jewish. <laughs> and I love this woman to death. I can say it privately. But where I do not make a bleep and blunder, would you please introduce yourself? My name is Anna Pennick. Anna. Anna. Okay. And I say Anna. Okay. Yes. All right. There you go. And I just wanted to make sure that you said it correctly. Okay. okay. Thank All right. you. Right. Now, Thank since you. they know I make a bleep and blunder, now if I say it during the show, don't worry about it. That's right. And tell us, everybody, about the name of your company with food. Sela Wellness. Yes, and food. Did we say food? Real food, Beth. Real Don't good forget. food. That's oh, right, real yeah. food. And so we're going to be talking to her. Yeah, and Jackie just wrote me a note. It's not T-R-T, as I call it, boot camp. It's T-F-T, okay? And I'm not going to say any military <laughs> shortcuts for that name, but we'll go on. And then we're going to be talking to John from Habitat for you, uh, Humanity. Oh, and I'm boy, you they that. got some good stuff going on over there. Yeah, I'm really happy about yes. that. Yes. So without further to do, Miss Jackie, let's start with you. Would you please remind everybody the beginning of your story? When did you get started and why? I got started in... Alternative complementary medicine in 1980. Uh, I fell through the cracks. I had terrible health, constant fevers, in bed a lot, migraine headaches. My blood tests looked good. Doctors couldn't find anything wrong. They thought I was a nutcase, but I wasn't. I was sick. And when there's no doctor that can help you, and I love doctors, I I'm not. You know, I, when I need medical care, they're there for me. But I was one of those where standard medical care didn't know what to do with me, and I was sick. And uh, it was very natural for me to go alternative because my great-great-grandparents were in Dr. Palmer's first chiropractic class. Hmm. So we've got chiropractors in my family. We've got uh, Christian science practitioners who prayed for healing all the time. My grandmother was another prayer person, could heal any disease with prayer. So I knew that the mind was, had the power to heal the body. Mm-hmm. The mind has the power to heal families. That's right. And the mind is uh, powerful if we learn how to use it. It's more important than anything else you'll learn to drive in your life is learning how to change your thoughts, you know, heal your mind. And that's what I specialize in now. And that is so cool. And she is going to tell us all how to do it. 
and uh, Jesse from Jesse J Collections, our godson. And the last time you were with us, uh, Jesse was here. And it was the first time I met him. Yeah, and he was talking to you, and you're all, the two of you are over there in the corner, bada bing, bada boom, whatever you did, that man's been happy ever since. Yep, yep. Uh, Thought Field Therapy, TFT works in seconds and minutes to get rid of stress, frustration, anxiety, physical problems, headaches, backaches. It's very fast because it works with your body's own energy. And then your energy, that's almost like your pH level. That has to be pretty well even, right? And then because the energy with so many forces Mm -hmm. that we have through the airwaves and and the phones and the television, computers and people and traffic and indeed even the dog next door barking, you know, and this and that. So once one learns how to control it Mm -hmm. or release the Or release it, right, and they know what it is, they're going to be happy people. It's going to change their life and everybody around them will be happier. (laughs) I I, I love it. I I absolutely... We need more happy people. (laughs) Yes. Less stress, less anxiety. Yeah. Like us yeah. three ladies. And fear. <laughs> yes. You know what? Fear, I think, is just an emotion. And I think everybody down deep, we have the power to overcome that fear, whatever it is. Like, I. That's so true. I, That's exactly true story. Right. I was petrified of elevators. Totally. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I freaked out. Yeah. Why? Many, many moons ago, I was nine months pregnant for my son. My doctor's office was on the top floor of the building. I was in the elevator. It got stuck between two floors. Oh. Me and, oh. and my son was, and there, was there, right? Yeah. And after that, I got, I was freaky. I did not, I will walk a thousand stairs before I get in that elevator, right? Finally, it, it was really funny. My son looks at me and he goes, Mommy. And he was six years old. And I go, what? He says, you can do this. And I looked at him. I said, all right, let's do this. So he got in the elevator with me. Did you and, feel and, the power of that little boy? He yeah, just spoke and, the truth right to you yeah. and it went, changed your... It changed. Yeah. And wow. so I'm still not really crazy about elevators. <laughs> if I have to get into one, I will. But the thing is, we can kind of figure yeah. what it is. But at the same time... Why even have any residual reluctance? Why don't we have you tap out the rest of the uh, resistance to elevators so it's a piece of cake to get on? And you Just don't, yeah, that's right. get in there and do a yeah. tap dance, you know, right. and have this fun stuff. Yeah. yeah, And then take when I go back home, back on, in New York, and they have the elevators outside of the yeah. building, they're all glass. Go up there, yeah. I lived on the 13th floor, and a lot of buildings didn't have the 13th floor because they were unlucky. But I always liked the 13th floor, and I, I love elevators. <laughs> well, I don't know why they – why do people say 13 is a bad number? Yeah. You look, when our first American pla- a flag, we had 13 stars. <laughs> like, hello. Hello. Yeah. This country <laughs> is still true. here. What's so bad about it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I like 13. Yeah. And see, and then you can. And in t- some countries, it's a lucky number instead of an unlucky number. So it just depends. How you look at it. Yeah. Yeah. It really does. And so, Anna, come on. Yes. Join into the club here, darling. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about the beginning of your story. Let's refresh everybody's memory, and then we can have a three way talk. Yes. So I started in 2008. Um, all through my childhood, I had pretty severe ADD. I was always getting pulled out of class. Couldn't focus, couldn't retain information, couldn't concentrate. Very bad allergies, um, seasonal allergies, uh, no food allergies. Um, And, you know, same thing as Jackie, conventional medicine. We weren't getting any answers. Loved my doctor to death, respected him tremendously. um, But his training was not, you know, it was just medication. That's Mm -hmm. all that they knew. And so I shadowed, I met my best friend in college and her mother Uh, has been doing what I've been doing now for about 15 years and works with a lot of behavioral issues in children, working with diet as well as um, healing through nutritional remedies and and supplements. So I decided to study that in college, and um, that's what I'm doing now. I specialize in children with autism, ADD, ADHD, um, anxiety, depression, bipolar, and a lot of behavioral issues that do relate to, of course, what we're going to talk about today is what we're feeding our children, um, what they're drinking and what they're eating. You know, I'm glad, I'm so blessed to have you two ladies here at the same time. I I, I love being here. (laughs) I'm excited about it. It's a mutual feeling. (laughs) Thank you. And when you were talking about the medication that children are on, 
you know, sometimes, now I'm going to get a phone call on this one. I know I'm yeah. getting a phone call on this one. <laughs> but sometimes when the children have like whatever is, is ailing that child, right? I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to try to act like a doctor. And maybe some doctors, they're just going by the book. They cannot think outside the box. And some of the medication that they're taking, they may not even need that, but they're getting it in that could be another reason why it's getting worse because they're getting overdosed. Oh, absolutely. Well, what I believe the culprit of a lot of ADD and ADHD is the digestive system. We know that our second brain is where? In our gut. Mm-hmm. It's more like and the first brain the more we lo- learn about it. That's true. Doesn't it have more brain nerve neurons than the brain? It does, yeah. yes. And you know what? As Hippocrates says over 2,000 years ago, who is our father of modern medicine, All diseases begin in the gut, Um, and these medications are creating havoc in our digestive system, especially antibiotics, um, which a lot of these antibiotics are bacteria. Um, It only kills the weakest bacteria. The strongest bacteria actually mutates against the the antibiotic Mm -hmm. and passes its DNA to other bacteria, which is killing off all the good bacteria, which protects us um, and our brain, of course, because the gut and the brain have this connection. Toxins that are in our gut get into our bloodstream, cross the blood-brain barrier and and into our brain, which causes this toxic fog over our brain. Um, So the more medication, the more damage to the gut, which ultimately is damage to the brain. You know, I'm glad that you said that. And then the other thing I wanted to ask both of you, because you're almost in the same field. It's like two bookends, we you know, overlap. left and right. We, right. Over, we overlap. You yeah. overlap it, right? Now, there are so many people that are being uh, told that they have celiac disease, mm-hmm. and I'm one of them, okay? Mm-hmm. And uh, when you're talking about uh, the tummy and the gut and stuff, there for a while, I started getting sick, and I'm going, what is going on here? Now, I'm going to tell you and chew, right? It's pasta. Okay lamb, you, you know, you name it, we, we eat it. And the capicola and the salam and, you know, all this, and the bread, you know, the rolls and all, all oh, this other stuff. Italian bread. Oh, God, I'm going to tell you there's nothing like Olive oh, oil. Geez. And then once they finally figured it out and they said, you know, this is it. So, of course, it's a major shock to the body when they're going down this list, you can't have this, you can't right, have that. And right. yet he, I said, just shoot me now. That's what I told my doctor, just shoot me now. Yes, I, I, you know, I'm done. Yes. He, he, she goes, no, you're going to be fine. Just do it and, and let it start working. Well, as I was going through all of this process, and I don't believe in drugs. I don't even take aspirin. Mm-hmm, Are you, you, you mm-hmm. can, no, 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 no. And we did everything by magnetics mm-hmm. and everything natural which I, I thought I was eating good until I wasn't. Now, with a lot of these children, could it be with the chemicals that are being put into all of our foods in the water when uh, they're growing all the vegetables in the fertilizer, in the sprays for all the bugs that are doing it, uh, everything that they're shoving in, uh, the animals, the cows, the chickens, the turkeys to make them fatter, could that have something to do with it also? Absolutely, and that's what we've seen over time is our food, not only the foods that we're selling in stores are changing, um, but genetically modifying. They're now putting DNA um, from another animal or plant into these different foods, which is completely changing the DNA structure of that food that's causing major diseases, um, and steroids and hormones and antibiotics going into these animals. I love the antibiotics, putting us. it yes. in all the animals so they grow fast. And it's like if you're eating non-organic animal products, mm-hmm. it's like wearing an antibiotic patch instead of a smoker's patch on your arm. You're that's getting right. constant 24-hour day antibiotics in your body. Who We're being medicated it? through our food, and it's making us sick instead of healthy. It's it's a crime, really. That's right. Well, when somebody comes to you, Anna, with a child or mm-hmm. children uh, at any age, now, what is the youngest child that you can uh, work with? I see a lot of newborns with colic and acid re- 